excellent opening sequence to grab our attention, ripping through the force wall and inviting us into the space. We got some hints from the environment, um, but very selective hints of what, where we were and what we were doing to create this real sense of mystery and almost a suspense to it as well. Um, I loved the slowed down pace at the beginning so we can sweep in through the space the intention-filled bodily exploration of it. And the soundscape led to this almost outer-worldly, slowed-down feeling, like altered state, as if we're at the club at 3 a.m. Great use of textures and unexpected elements throughout, exploring textures sonically and also through touch. Just a, a really mesmerizing piece that brought us full circle in this group experience, and I'm glad I got to participate via the piece. What really set this film apart for me were the striking and memorable visuals. I really appreciated the eerie stillness of the many dancers in the smoky room off the top, who eventually start to move in a rhythmic, zombie-like way. The costumes were intriguing and really added to the sense of bondage, given the many ropes. The pulsing music that ebbs and flows was fantastic for this piece, and the gooey body parts that were held and eaten in a cannibalistic way were very visceral and effective. Um, what was interesting about this piece is although it's, you know, it's an experimental artistic piece, there's movement, but it gave me the same feeling as a zombie apocalypse film um, because of the movement of the dancers, because of the costuming, like certain aspects like fabric hanging from them, it feels like or organs or intestines falling off of bodies. And then you have these inner intercut images of organs being fondled um, as if they're being eaten. And um, as grotesque as that is, it definitely adds in this element of cannibalism. And, you know, the feelings of this piece changed as the music adjusted. There's just a beautiful collaboration between these performers and the camera movement throughout this piece, um, which is what really makes it very dynamic in certain scenes. And even the lighting um, was also choreographed very in tunely with the camera movement. Um, it seems like it was all well thought of. Um, even though the performers are just performing in this set space, it's the dynamic movement of the camera throughout is what makes it really a dynamic piece overall. A zombie rave um, for most of it, which was super interesting. Um, to, the dancing was cool to watch because everyone was doing their own thing and everyone sort of seemed to be in a, a trance-like state in their dancing. Um, this was also intercut with shots of these people eating what looks like raw meat and organs, which I can only assume goes with the title of this film, which is Cannibalizing the Conductor. So I can only assume that this is another human that they're eating, hence my zombie sort of take on this film. Um, so it very much felt like a dance film with this gruesome sort of horror narrative to it. Um, and then the second part of this film, we break the fourth wall in a way and we see the cameras that are filming them, um, which is a, another layer to this film. Uh, so that was also super interesting that they had that choice in there as well. The, uh, the start immediately draws you in. It's uh, mysterious and eerie and, and quiet. And that, uh, that quiet is just a really, it's a smart choice. Uh, so that when it builds up, uh, it's just that much more impactful. Um, and it kind of just makes you, you know, wonder what you're in for, but you immediately just get the feeling that you're in good hands because there's just an overall, uh, just strong production quality here. Um, it's, uh, like everything from the, the wardrobe to the lighting to the actual movements are just done at a, at a, just a great level, um, that just makes you feel confident about what you're in for. Um, the score works really well throughout, um, you know, through its uh, ups and downs, which uh, in turn work really well to uh, just keep it dynamic and keep things moving and, and kind of keep you uh, wondering and guessing um, and overall just keep you engaged. To say the least, a very peculiar film. Uh, one of the things that definitely was interesting to me was its use of silence in the sense that I feel the entire, everything about most of the audio is very non-digetic. Uh, the only thing I believe 
was actually diegetic was the emphasis of the breathing and the footsteps that you can hear uh, throughout the video. I feel like as this was being recorded, everything was just dead silent which adds to this just unnerving factor where um it has the same kind of feeling you get when you get in trouble like the class gets in trouble at school and now everyone has to be silent and there's this kind of tension in the air that if that silence is broken something bad will happen so you only hear like the minute details like maybe someone tapping their foot or the scratching on a desk uh it gave up that feeling where even when uh music does start playing you always have this sense that there's just this eerie silence underneath uh in addition to that i, I just have to make note of just that it would constantly cut away to this just this fleshy thing and it was it's constantly being poked prodded and petted and, and then sometimes eaten uh the only thing i could say I, I guess that was the conductor <laughs> see i've never seen a zombie dance before it was very unique i loved the precision of the shots in this they were done with in intricate detail to the where they focused on cutting with scissors and then meat in the hand and small little details on the costumes, which were really well planned out. This is, it shows just through costume alone that it, the difference in each character and, and the makeup, which was well thought out. It was in a, really good. It was a good dance. It was just different. It was something that was enjoyable to watch and kept your intrigue just from the title alone.